What up, what up, what up, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, you boys, guys, welcome back to another franchise draft, and today we are starting a brand new franchise, hope you guys are excited, I know I am, we went ahead and got ourselves a championship with the Arizona Cardinals, so I'm very excited to go on ahead and get you guys this new season, now we won with the Vikings, we won with the, um, the Cardinals, you know, two NFC teams. So now I'm thinking, you know what, let's, let's go on ahead and uh, get ourselves a team from the AFC. We got the Bengals, the Bills. Let me see. Who we, who, who, who's, who's sticking out? Who's sticking out? Who are we going to go with? Woody Johnson, Robert Kraft, Mark Davis, Steve Buscotti. Uh, you know what? We're, let's go with the Pats, y'all. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the Patriots. You know what I mean? I live in the New England area. Let's, let's hybrid multiple. Let's go with the Patriots. Let's go. Start off this season. Injuries off. That way we don't gotta worry about them preseason injuries. Ballhawk and Heath here. Come on, on, on. What kind of question is that? Need as much help as I can get. Start career, Lego. Let's go. Let's see what pick we got, y'all. Woo! Let's go. Give me a good pick. Are now on the clock. Pick 13. Not bad. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Make my pick. Yes, sir. All right. I don't know what type of uh, scheme I want. Whoa. J.J. Watts. Now, I am thinking of going just pure off defense and getting myself an ass offense to see if I can make it work. And what a wonderful way it would be to get JJ. You know what? I'm not even going to think about it. JJ, come on, JJ. Come on, young sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to the team, JJ. Welcome to the team, JJ. We got JJ Watts. Let's go. That is a beautiful way to start the draft. We went and got JJ Watt. Now, my offense is going to be butt. I'm going to get, like, just... Last minute quarterback, last minute wide receivers, and I'm gonna see if I can make it work, y'all. I'm gonna see if I can go on ahead and get myself a good defense and see if I can work with an ass offense. So I'm excited, man. We got JJ Watt, man. Hopefully he can lead the league in sex. Alright, let's go. Second round, we got pick number 19. Make my pick. We sure as hell will. Let's see who we got defensively. Who we got on the other side of the line? Any other steals? Oh, we do got Mario Williams, yo. Justin Smith, though. But he's older, though. I would want somebody younger. D tackles. Big old Stank Vince. Von Miller. Woo! That'd be nice to get Von. Navarro Bowman. Derek Johnson. Lance Briggs. Jared Mayo. John Beeson. Ooh, Revis Island, though. That Revis Island, though. Oh, man. Should we go with Revis? There's McCordy. Cam Chancellor. Damn, Revis or Chancellor? I like Chancellor, man. 93 hit power, though. Woo! Or Von Miller. But Revis, though. Man, Revis. Cam Chancellor. I'm liking Von, too. Von, Von is young. And Von is a stud. What's that, what's that hit power looking like? Did I pass it? I must have passed it. Oh, he got that big... Oh, he don't got the big hitter trait. Dang it. If anybody don't know, big hitter trait means that uh, they go for CPU hit sticks. Block shed, 90. Hit power, 89. Oh, that's good, though. Definitely good. Dang it, man. I don't, I don't know what to do. Do we go with Revis? Do we go... I would love Justin Smith... Because he is a block shedding machine. 
We got 96 blocks, but he's old though. You know what I'm saying? He's old. Like after this year, he's gonna go down. Even even if he leaves the league instead, he's just gonna go down. You know what I mean? Like he's he's not a young guy. Neither is Peppers. Neither is Peppers. Um. Whew. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go with. Damn. They also got Deshaun Ghostin too, though. Ghostin be bringing the lumber too, yo. I know Ghostin hit power gotta be like 95 or something. 96. Yeah, see a safety that can hit. Cam Chancellor, Deshaun Ghostin, six years. Yeah, you know, I think we're gonna go with Chancellor. Chancellor's a little younger. Or do we just go with I mean he's not that much. You know, we're gonna go with Ghostin. Good pick. Good pick. Good pick, GS. You know what I'm saying? We got him back there bringing the lumber like a missile. I am going to be running new playbooks. I'm not running Pistol. I'm not running um, Detroit. I'm going to be running Kansas City on offense and 4-3 on defense. So I'm running different playbooks. So I'm not going to have 40 sacks in one year like how I did with Patrick Willis and all that. It's going to be completely different, y'all. Completely different. Now on the clock. Make my pick. Yes, the hell we will. It would be nice if Revis was somehow still there, wouldn't it? They got Champ. Earl Thomas is still there. Chancellor is still there, though. Chancellor, no, I saw you. I saw you. Don't be trying to hide. Oh, man, that's the nasty secondary right there. Just got to look, man. Maybe, maybe they forgot about Von Miller, man. You never know. London Fletcher, Lance Briggs, kind of old. May Mayo's pretty young. Ooh, Holly. But uh, Mayo's kind of young. What's that hit power looking like, man? I want fumbles. I want fumbles on top of fumbles on top of fumbles. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I that's what I want. Dang it! Where the heck is overall? Oh, there it is. I'm bugging. Champ Bailey's old, though, but he's a veteran, though. He's a crafty veteran. Monte Davis. Pretty young, good corner. You know, I'm I'm, I'm feeling Cam. Like, I'm, Cam just stands out. Cam definitely stands out. We're going to go with Cam Chancellor. We're good. Good pick. You talk about J.J. Watt, Deshaun Ghostin, and Cam Chancellor. Just big hits in the secondary. I need JJ to just be a block shedding machine, though. Let's go. I'm liking this team already. I'm 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 already liking it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm digging it. I'm digging JJ. I'm digging my two safeties. Now let me see if I can get somebody else in the line. Or maybe some corners. I don't know, man. There's so many positions. Obviously, there's eleven on both sides of the ball, but you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Lego. The Patriots are now on the clock. All right. Is Sean Merriman still? Is he still in the league? <laughs> the hell happened to him, yo? But stay. I don't even know why I'm looking at safeties. We're fine with safeties. Yo, Champ is still there. Now I know I want young players, but Champ would be nice to have, though. All right, we still got Mario Williams. Who's, who's not the oldest, you know what I mean? But he's not the youngest. Right, see what we got. Ah, uh, nobody. If I get anybody, it'll be Mario. Uh, hmm, what are we looking at here? Chad Greenway. Ryan Kerrigan is still down there. Kerrigan is a beast. James Harrison definitely hits hard. Steven Tulock. Lawrence Timmons. Brian Cushing. Hmm. Luke Keekley. Lance Briggs is still there. He's definitely old, though. What's his hit power looking like? And, and no, no right linebackers are bringing the lumber? No right linebackers bringing the lumber, though? You know what? We're probably going to have to go with a veteran because there's nobody, no like real young stud talent. Um, 
Dang it. What do we go with? Now, Lance Briggs is a 96 overall linebacker who would definitely be a good, you know, good luck stopping the run. Uh, but there's other players that, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm feeling champ. At this point in time, I'm definitely feeling champ. Davis, I, I think we're gonna go with the champ. Let me see what what's his uh speed ninety two. What's that man to man looking like? Cause I'm gonna be playing a lot of dime, a lot of dime, baby. Man to man ninety two. Eighty nine zone. Uh, we go with champ. We go with Briggs. You know, what? let's just go with my gut. My gut's telling me go to champ. My gut is telling me to go with the champ. Just, just get the old veteran. He's gonna, he's gonna be molding my players together. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's go on ahead and get champ. Get ourselves some, some decent coverage. Uh, definitely need, uh, you know, a linebacker and another uh, defensive lineman. You know, uh, JJ Watt is gonna be a 99 on either left or right. So that doesn't matter. So uh, I will get, you know. Uh, like another left end doesn't matter. Make my selection. Yes, yeah, see, I like Mario. You know what I mean? Mario got me eleven sacks during the season with with last franchise, and that was just you know regular, like no blitzes. I don't even know any blitzes how to come in with the D end untouched. Like all my blitzes are either linebackers or. Safety. So him having that many sacks was was big, you know, just block shedding like a boss. Carlos Rogers is still there. Finnegan. Ah, I like Vonte. I really like Vonte. He's young. I know he can press like a beast. Harrison still there. John Beeson. Keekly still there. All right, so Keekly might not be there, but neither would Vonte. So, uh, you know what? I have more trouble stopping the pass than I do the run. So we're gonna go on ahead and go with Vonte. I feel like that's a good pick. You know what I mean? I, I feel like that right there. This is what I'm thinking, right? Because my offense is going to suck. So, um, I'm probably going to need defense to come through a lot. And I, I feel like I can do a decent job of stopping the run with, you know, mediocre players. But it's not easy stopping the pass with mediocre players. So, you know, we got Vonte, We got Champ. We got two safeties. We got JJ on the front line. You know, now we're going to start building our linebackers to try and, you know, stuff the run. I am digging what we got going on here so far. I'm definitely digging it. Definitely digging it. Hopefully, JJ just puts in work. The Patriots are now on the clock. All right. Uh, make my selection. Ooh, Nick Foles would have been a good QB to have, huh? Oh, is Mario Williams still there? I really like Mario, man. I see he's gone. Dang it. That sucks. Alright, let's see what linebackers we got here. James Harrison is still there because he's he's aged. You know what I mean? Uh really nobody young. James Harrison would probably be the way to go. Ooh, Keekly is still there. Good young linebacker. So is Beeson. Levante David though. Uh, what's his hip power? 81. Keekly, who's of course that run stopper. 81 as well. One year experience. Hmm. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Decision, decision, decision. Um. Tackles 99. That is amazing. 
That is the and Levante tackle is 98. Uh dang it, who to go? Who's faster? 85, 82, he's a little faster. Uh Keekly or David, man. Uh who's better in coverage? Let's take a look at man to man. 62-72. Damn. Yo, Vante is just... Damn. We're going to have like eight Vantes, man. Vante Davis and Vante David. Uh Oh, block shed. That's very important. Block shedding is huge. 74, 70, 82. Block shedding is important, Uh, you know, obviously to get off the blocks quickly. But dang it, man. Key clear. Uh, you know what? We're going to go with David. We're going to go with David. Good pick. Good pick. Good pick. I would have loved Mario Williams, though. If Mario Williams was available, I would have snagged him right there to put on the opposite end of JJ. But you know what? I, I like what... I, I'm loving what we got going on here, guys. I really am. Like I said, offense is going to be ass. Just pure butt. Like, I'm going to be throwing the guys. You guys are going to be like, who? who's that? You guys are going to be Googling... My offense, like, that's just how bad it's going to be. The Patriots are now on the floor. Make my pick. Eric Berry was still available. Damn. Eric Berry, the type of player. I would have picked him and just went three men deep all day. All right, Greenway is still there. Harrison left. Keekly is still there, though. Antoine Winfield, you're old as hell. Jamal Williams, Brandon Carr, Tlaib, Jonathan Joseph. Still got some ballers here. Muga! John Beeson. But we don't need a right linebacker. We need a left in the middle. All right. Uh, I like Greenway. I've always liked Greenway. Keekly though, that 99 tackle. You know, we're gonna go with Keekly. Good pick. Just just good pick. You know, between a 98 and 99 tackle rating, like we should be able to wrap up the guys very well. You know, in all Madden, there's a whole lot of uh guys just missing tackles. Those two guys should, you know, do a very good job of just being able to wrap up the ball carrier. And that's that's what we want, man. Big hits and, and wrap them up. If Greenway's there, I, I think I solidify my uh, my linebacker and go for him. Because I'm definitely going to be running some 4-3, some 4-4. You know, some mixed in nickel and dime. But, all right. Uh, make my pick. All right. Uh, hmm, is there anybody that we can snag and put over there? Okay, linebackers are starting to go. Corners, eh, I'm not really worried about. Chris Canty. BJ Raji. That's a big ass left end. That's a D tackle. Who's on the right? Who's on the right? Desmond Bryant. That 88 overall, though. Hmm. 6'5". Power move, 93. Decent finesse move, 87 block shed. Tackle was 87. 83 hit power. That's very good for alignment. Speed. Eh, you're not the fastest, but you're a power move guy, so... Hmm. Desmond Bryant to put up with J.J. Watt. Excuse me. So probably have J.J. on one side, and we'll probably put him on left end. As you guys know, I don't know why, but the left end, the overall is always better. So he's probably a um, he's probably like a left end. I mean, he's probably like a ninety on left end, like eighty nine, ninety on the left. Uh, we go. You know, let's go with Desmond Bryant. Just good pick, 
Good pick, man. We got two linebackers, two defensive linemen, two safeties, two cornerbacks. And I really think we got great studs at each position. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, man. I just want to I just want to wreck havoc. Just to play with this team and just wreck havoc, man. After a pick round 10, we're going to go on at the end of the video and then uh, finish up part two. So we got a couple more picks for this episode. The Patriots are now on the clock. Make your pick. Let's go. We need some D tackles. I believe we still need a linebacker, no? Okay, yeah, we need a left linebacker with some D tackles. Let's see who's available at DT. I'll probably still go with uh with um who did I have before? I had Cody, Dimitri Poto. I had Cody and Rogers back to back. These guys are mammoths, man. Mammoths. You know what I mean? Like uh good block shed between the both of them. I like Poe though. I definitely like Poe. Ninety six strength, eighty five power, fifty five finesse. Big old Phil Taylor. Block shedding for a D tackle is very important. I'm not expecting a lot of sacks from my D tackle. I just need somebody to go on ahead and block shed. Oh. Corner. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Maybe I'm just looking to find a, a hidden gem. Brandon Browner's still here. I definitely love his tall ass. I think Brown had probably been gone. Just curious to see what uh what he got here. Thomas DeCoo. Daniel Manning, who I had in uh, my Vikings franchise. Uh D tackle or a left linebacker. Or a right linebacker we could put on the left linebacker spot. James Anderson. Uh eh, nobody's really sticking out. Terrence Howard, I mean, uh, Thomas Howard, very fast. <laughs> Got some good speed. I remember him back in the day when he was on the Raiders, like in Madden, was it Madden 11? That made the Raiders the best team where they had Asamuga, Howard. They just had so much speed, yo. It was crazy. We got anybody with hip power, though? Who bringing the lumber? They were Wheeler. Yo, did he have like a bajillion tackles this year for the Bengals? He is on the Bengals, isn't he? If I if I recall correctly. Uh, hmm, I like Poe. I like Poe here at D tackle. But I'm thinking he should still be around, like next round. Though. I'm pretty positive. Did I pass his ass already? Or he's projected to go in round eight, and that's the round we're in because he's young. So he might not be there. You know, who's more important, man? Let, you know, yeah, let's go with Poe. Let's go with Poe. Very good, just monster. By the end of the year, he should be like a 92. Good pick, man. Good pick. Good pick. Now I think we're going to end off our uh, this episode uh, picking up a linebacker. And then <laughs> I could I haven't I literally haven't even looked at offense yet. I haven't even looked at offense. I don't even know who's available. So this is gonna be a fun season, man. Just a fun, difficult season. Let go. But our defense, we should be good to go. I'm excited for JJ, yo. I just want to see him just wreck havoc. Just come out in like four three and just have him put in work. The Patriots are now on the clock. Damn, Osa Human Euro was still there? All right, so it's either D tackle or linebacker. Casey Hampton. I'm not really fit. Justin Durant. Howard is still there.
everything else is so low. But I mean, 96, I mean, 95 hit power though. Like, you can't, you can't teach that, man. You, you can't teach the ability just to slap somebody. Like, I want to go with him, but it's definitely way too early to pick him. Yeah, he's not expected to go to round 21. Sean Lee's available. Now, I wonder. We could probably put Keekly or Sean Lee. Now, Sean Lee, I don't believe it's just like a big, yeah, like a big, big hitter. But his tackle is 97, though. And he's a young guy. Dang it, I would love to know what he's at at like a right linebacker. Probably goes down to like an 81 or something. Hmm. Sean Lee, that good tackle though. I, I think he's definitely better than, than Howard over here. Or uh, who's over here? Or Duran or anybody like that. But I really like this dude with the hip power. Because I had him when... Um, I had him during the Vikings franchise, and and he he caused some fumbles. He definitely caused some fumbles with some hit sticks. So you know what? I think we're gonna go on ahead and uh, let me see. Let's 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 get a. It's either a D tackle or a or or nickel corner. Who we got in the nickel? Uh, D Milner, somebody who's young. Uh, do we go with Milner? I think we might go with Milner. Kareem Jackson, but... This is right around the time Milner should be going to. Milner's young. What's his... Uh, let's take a look at his uh, his man. Uh, you know, not bad. It's only 21. Play recognition, very important. 74. Tackle is sucks just as every other corner does 77 hit power though damn that's pretty good catching catching is pretty decent uh you know he ain't no who got the best hands over here dj moore david amerson oh man decisions decisions y'all hmm. i think i'm gonna go with milner i think we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up with milner so that's the end of round uh, 10 episode 1 hopefully you guys enjoyed man leave in the comment section what you guys think of just the all defensive team like I know my offense is going to be asked but that's going to make for such an interesting season you know what I mean trust me so uh, you guys don't want to miss part 2 man love each and every single one of you guys hope you guys enjoyed part 1 it's your boy Jess I'm out peace give it to me baby